Well, I think people in general are getting more open and ready to discuss the future and to jump in because the pressure is huge. Right? I mean, COVID, one thing, the Ukraine war, the other thing, uh, automation, right? I mean, basically, everybody's looking at the fact that the future isn't science fiction, but the future is here. Right? And if you're, if you're a manager, you notice what, hap what happened to the music business, the media business, the publishing business, uh, followed by the car industry, mobility, uh, healthcare, banking, right? It's basically, yeah, you think those changes are further away, they are not, and people are realizing this quickly, and there's a lot of uh, what I call future shock, you know, Alvin Toffler, uh, Toffler's book from, I don't know, 70s, right? Uh, people are shocked by this, right? Realizing, for example, the, the entire car industry is becoming a mobility industry, multi-modal trans, multi -modal transportation. And, and so people are realizing the examples and getting more ready, also more scared, of course, right? more worried about what may roll over them. Um, and I think this is primarily what I call the future mindset. Right? Do, are you capable of perceiving a future that is different than your present? That is the key question. If you're not capable of, of uh, doing the present and seeing the future, you are in deep trouble. Because uh, the future isn't in 10 years, it's in two months. Yeah.